It's not the will to win that matters Severian has that. It's the will to prepare to win that matters. This quote emphasizes the importance of preparation in achieving success. It reminds us that while many desire victory, it's the dedication to readiness and hard work that truly sets winners apart. In every endeavor, from sports to life, thorough preparation lays the foundation for achievement. It's a powerful reminder that success is not merely about wishing for outcomes, but actively working towards them with determination and diligence. The, the society has conditioned men to think that just being a man is not good enough. You got to be a boss. You got to be a baller. You got to be flossing. You got to be rich. You know, society has taught us that you a man needs to be rich or he's not a man. What kind of what kind of thought process is that? Because let me explain something to everybody. To be rich is to be greed, to operate in greed. Um, you can be wealthy, right? But to be rich, to be have over abundance of money, that is operating in greed. And when you operate in greed, that's one of the seven deadly sins. So for us to operate in these low vibrational thought processes, to, for us to operate in these low vibrational lives, aka like trying to get money, that's the low, that's one of the lowest vibrations. Because I'm explaining something to y'all. I never was receiving money when I was doing my YouTube, right? But the possibility to receive money distorted my image for a little while. Um, When they told me I got to get this amount of hours, 4,000 watch time hours, and they said I got to get over 1,000 subscribers, that made me push for a goal. That made me push hard to achieve that. And then once I pushed hard to it, to attain that goal then they said oh you got the monetization you got money then they say oh no you're gonna we're gonna take that away because you're doing this and so for me thinking about the money or the possibility to get some money because you know everybody wants to be compensated for what they do but let me tell y'all something money will distort you money will distort your purpose in this world look this It's telling you to prepare, but then each time it tells you to prepare, nothing comes about it. Nothing happens, right? In this world of disparity, you would think that they would cherish me, but they glorify the vanity. I don't think that they hear in me. People say, shit. Ain't nothing wrong. Everything's good. People are comfortable because they got McDonald's open. People are comfortable because Walmart's still open. People are comfortable because fast food restaurants are open. People are extremely comfortable because they still have a way like a... Um, they Come on, everybody. Look at what's going on. We still in shackles. 
living in Babylon, can I get a witness? Come on, keep going strong. They give us distractions, and that's what we focus on. They keep us divided. We should start a union. All the problems in the world, you're the solution. But it takes some practice, and it takes execution. I know we can make it. Look at Martin Luther, my brothers and sisters. We must come together. We're strength in numbers. We can stand the weather. Don't let nothing stop you. It only get better when it start to rain. I lend my umbrella. Let's go until the sunshine. We in the storm until the sunshine. We in the storm until the sunshine. We in the storm. God will test you to see if you're really good, right? Anybody can fake like they're decent. Anybody can fake and act like they're a good person, right? But if you're really standing on that shit and you're day to day living it and trying it and, and, and living in righteousness, and you're going to get tested over and over and over again because let me say something y'all God does not have a place for all people God does not have a place for all people God has a place for righteous people God has a place for people who are trying to be decent and trying to be righteous God does not have a place for people who are lukewarm. God does not have a place for people who are evil. God does not have a place for you. If you think you can do people wrong, connive, con, steal, cheat, lie, and shit like that, and get up to the top, you're in for a rude awakening. What's What's for God's people is eternal. What's for God's people is forever. So God is not going to give his eternal grace and his eternal eternal life to every fucking body on this earth. It's like joining the club, joining a gang. You're not getting in the gang until you pass some initiation rituals. You're not getting into the club unless you pass the initiation rituals. So do you think for a second in your mind that God has a comfortable, set out, sought out place for you in his afterlife or in his house or on his boat? Do you think God has a place for you or a seat for you on that boat if you're not doing right in this world? See, see, it's so many people in this world who've been living my back against the wall. I still make it nudge your head. Every time you hear my voice, yeah, you know how I'm a player change. That's the line of scrimmage when you up against the spread. If everybody think it, it's the way that I can fed. They know that I'm the champ, but they just don't want to say it. Time don't touch the chart versus highlight infrared. I don't work out twice before they get up out of bed. We should build each other up. Tearing down the stand. I pray for the world and then I say, man, before they close the lid, my baby came up with a plan. Miss got it and confused. That's the time we live in. Then if we hold each other back, there's no way to get ahead. Let's hear melodies from heaven. It's not hard to understand. Lift each other up. Only way we can advance. Need to put the guns down and grab each other hand. One brother kill another while they buy up all the land. I hear melodies from heaven. 
this each other up. Only way we can advance, need to put the guns down and grab each other hand. One brother kill another, why they buy a bottle of land? Your actions will come at your own demise, at your own hands. You know, if you're living this life and thinking you're going to do what you want without no repercussion, your judgment will come swift and fast. You know, I just say this to everybody, man. If you're a real good person or if you're a good person, you have to prove that shit. If you're a, a decent person, you have to constantly prove that shit. You will not get you will not get any reward in life by faking. Let me explain something to y'all. If you look at the past, then you look at that tomorrow. I'm trying to start a wave that anyone can follow. They dance with the devil for the almighty dollar. They rob, steal, and kill, and they big rap and borrow. If you on the horizon, we come to take you farther. You get in the boat with them, man, you know it's going under. Squeeze the life out the game, just like an anaconda. Go to another city limits where I can turn a turner. I seen it coming, but don't say I didn't warn you. Teamed up with my homie, and we came up with the formula. Says don't repair, cause it's so out of order. If you know, like I know, tell your sister and your brothers, let's go. There's no better time than it is right now. There's no better time than it is right now. There's no better time than it is. Because to be honest with you, if you're a millionaire, if you're straight, if you got all the top uh, money and top health care and shit like that, you're at least supposed to live into your 80s, which 76 is close to 80. So I'm not m knocking the man for making it that far. But what I am saying is he has to atone for killing that, that lady and that man that he killed. Just because he got away with it on this earth. Just because he paid some top goons or some top demons to get him off of on this earth. You think you think for one second that he don't have to deal with that woman's spirit now? See, he died today. That lady he killed and Ron Goldman, the dude he killed, or whoever, however it happened, those two spirits have been on the other side since the late night and since the 90s. They've been on the afterlife waiting on his ass since the 90s. What do you think they're going to do to O.J. Simpson's spirit when he gets over there? What do y'all think they're going to do? Is she going to get her justice? Or is she going to feel sorry for him and, and lead him into the afterlife? You don't get away with nothing on this earth. The sins you commit will come back to haunt you one way or the other. So the the bank the main part and the best thing you can do is not commit any sins. Don't ever do anything that you can't be seen doing. If you're doing something and you can't be seen doing it out in the open, you don't need to be doing it. That is your moral compass talking to you. See, when you're doing something and you're trying to rationalize the decency of it or the right, the righteousness of it, that means your spirit is fighting you. Your spirit is telling you, no, 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 no. Hold on, bro. Don't do this. What the fuck? 